Our objectives in this lesson is to be able to recall essential geometric terms and classify and name basic geometric figures. Angle. An angle consists of two different rays, those are the sides, with the same endpoint. That would be the vertex. So in this picture, the rays that are the sides are ray BA and ray BC. Notice they meet at that endpoint, and the endpoint is called the vertex. Here is the endpoint, point B and that is the vertex. We name an angle by using a three-letter angle name starting with a point from one of the sides. We put the symbol for angle that looks like a little angle and then we start with one of the points from the sides like A and then as if we were tracing the angle next we hit the point that is the vertex B and continuing to trace it the next point would be on the other side, C. So this one could be angle A, B, C. But we could have started from this side and called it angle C, B, A. Sometimes people just use the point that is the vertex. We could call this angle B. Sometimes people label an angle by putting a number in the interior, the inside of the angle. So I might put a number 1, and I can call this angle 1. It does not mean that it is 1 degree in measure. It is the way to name it. The intersection, or any intersection, is a point or set of points that is in common. So for example, where this ray meets this ray is the intersection point B. That is the intersection of these two rays, or the sides of the angle. So the intersection of the rays for the sides of the angle will be the vertex of the angle. An arc is a part of a circle. It is used to identify an angle. So in this picture, I could draw an arc to show that I'm referring to this angle right here. This is a part of a circle. This is an arc to reference this angle. The measure of angle B is denoted by a little m for measure, and then the angle symbol, which sometimes looks like this, where there's an arc through it, so the measure of angle B, or sometimes looks like the symbol that I drew previously over here, measure of angle B. So if I'm going to measure angle B or angle ABC, I'm going to get my protractor. I'm going to put the center of the protractor where the vertical and horizontal lines meet at the vertex. One side will line up on the zero degrees and then the other side is where I read the numbers. So I see that this says 0, and then 10 degrees, and then 20 degrees, and then I notice that it's two tick marks past the 20 degree mark. So this angle would measure 22 degrees. Let's move this out of the way, and we can write that this measure is equal to 22 degrees. The measure of angle B equals 22 degrees. If I wanted to put it in the picture, I could show with an arc that this is 22 degrees. Notice this has a degree symbol because it means the measure, whereas this does not have a degree symbol because it's just labeling the angle as angle number one. There are different ways to classify an angle, different classifications of the angle. Classification means the type of angle. There are four different types that we're going to talk about. There is a right angle where an angle it's an angle that measures 90 degrees. To have a better time at drawing an example of a 90 degree angle, I've taken a square because squares have four 90 degree angles like the corner of your paper the corner of a ruler, 
as examples. I'm going to draw a ray that follows along one side of the square and draw another ray that intersects this ray on another side of the square, and now I have a 90 degree angle. If I move my square out of the way, I can mark that this is a right angle by using a right angle symbol, which is a square. That's a right angle. An acute angle is an angle that measures between 0 and 90 degrees, so it is not as wide as the corner of your paper. So when I draw two rays to make an angle, I'm going to draw one side along the horizontal and then another side that when I bring my square over, you can tell that it is not as wide as this 90 degree angle. It crosses through the square. So when I draw the arc to show this angle, it's a smaller arc than this 90 degree mark. An obtuse angle is an angle that measures between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So when I draw an obtuse angle, one ray perhaps along the horizontal, the other ray going away from where the square would be. So if I bring the square and line it up, notice that it's wider than that corner of the square. And notice when I draw the arc for that corner, that's a longer arc. It goes farther than that small arc. A straight angle measures exactly 180 degrees. And a straight angle looks like a straight line. Another way to think of it is two rays that go in opposite directions. When I draw the arc for this, I usually label it with a 180 degree measure. Let's take a look at some examples. Classify the angle shown in the figures below, then state its name. So remember classify means tell what type of angle is shown. So this is an angle. I can get my square to put in the interior of the angle, line it up along one side, make it touch the vertex, and notice the other side opens wider than the corner of the square. So because it's larger than 90 degrees, but not yet 180 degrees or a straight line, we know that this is an obtuse angle. How do we name the angle? We start from a point on one of the sides. So I can start at T, U has to be in the middle, and go to V. Angle, T, U, V. I could have started on this side, so I'm going to say, or angle, V, U, T. But the letters that are on the sides must be on the sides of the angle name. The vertex, which is point U, has to be in the middle, just like that's the middle from those two points. This looks like a straight line. So what type of angle is it? It's going to be a straight angle. If I have three points, the letter that's between the other points is the vertex. So that has to go between the other points when I name it. This would be angle D, E, G, or angle G, E, D. Now, if we didn't pay attention to the directions carefully, we might not have seen that they asked for an angle. They could have just said, classify the figure. If they didn't say angle, we might call this a line and use two points to name it. But we noticed the directions said angle, so that is how we named it.